Hi, fourth graders. Mrs. Fernandi here. It is week 10 of spelling. This week, we're going to talk about the drop E generalization. And a generalization is just another word for a rule, a rule that, that happens most of the time. Sometimes we have rule breakers. Okay, we are going to drop the final E when the base word begins with consonant E and the suffix begins with a vowel. That sounds a little complicated, but you'll see right now. So here we have shine. The base word ends with consonant E. There's our, let me grab a pen, a pen really quickly here. There's our consonant, the consonant's N. There's our E. The suffix is going to begin with a vowel. So you're going to drop that E and we end up with shin, shine. We're going to add Y. Y is a vowel in this case, right? Why is a vowel when it comes at the end of the word? So then we end up with the word shiny. And there it is. Base word shine, consonant E. Our ending is the vowel. So we drop the E and add the Y. Close, we're going to drop the E. Then we're going to add the ER ending. ER er, also starts with a vowel, just like it says here, begins with a vowel. Then we add it on to the end and we end up with closer. There's the word love drop the E, add A, B, L, E, ending A, Abel is also begins with the vowel. So that's why we drop the E, we add it in there and we get lovable. Here's the word take. We're going to drop the E. We're going to add ING again. ING starts with a vowel. So we're going to drop that E and then we're going to add ING and we end up with taking. Okay, don't drop the E when the words end with a consonant E and the suffix begins with a consonant. Oops, oh, sorry. But remember that the consonant is um, going to start the, it's going to be a, sorry, I got myself a little bit. Here is a consonant instead of a vowel. So the suffix itself, the ending is going to start with a consonant instead of a vowel like it was last time. So here's the word care. We've got vowel, consonant, which is the R, and the vowel E. We're going to add full. Do you see full starts with the letter F, which is a consonant. So we're not going to drop the E here. We're just going to add the F-U-L. Same with close. We're going to add N-E-S-S. N-E-S-S -S starts with a consonant. The consonant is N. We're not going to drop the E. We're going to end up with the word closeness. Sense, same thing. We're going to add less to the end of it. Um, Less starts with the letter L, which is a consonant, so we're not going to drop our E. We end up with the word senseless, right? Got it? So then there's another tiny part um, here where words end in C-E or G-E when the ending begins with an A or an O. And this is kind of specific, but I thought I would throw it out here. Maybe you'll remember it. Courageous. Here's the word courage right here. And then we we have the ending us, which is spelled O-U-S. Now, us, after courage, we're not going to drop the E. We're just going to add it on to the end. We end up having three vowels in a row. Three vowels in a row is a little bit um, unusual in the English language. Recharge is our word. Our ending starts with the letter A. So we're not going to drop the E. We're going to end up with rechargeable and keep all of those vowels in a row. This first one is probably easy for you. This one, it's just something that you'll hear a couple of times and then you'll get it. Okay, one more thing. When we have the bull or the gull or the uh, tull or the dull, so the D-L-E, B-L-E, G-L-E, T-L-E, C-L-E, we, when we want to change it into lee, we are just going to, um, oh, I need yet another color. Let's go with, uh, ooh, let's, let's go with orange. So we're going to change the E to a Y. The E was silent and the Y says the long E. Terrible, we're going to drop that E, replace it with a Y, terribly. Kind of funny that it ends up sounding like a long E, right? Wiggle, here's the G-L-E. We're going to change the E to a Y and end up with wiggly. That's pretty easy. We're just changing our E to a Y, E to a Y, E to a Y. All right. Nice. So here are this week's words. Waving. The ship's passengers were waving goodbye. We dropped the E and added ING because the ING starts with a vowel. So we had to drop the E. Traded. They traded the books they had just read. They dropped the E, 
and added ed. It's always better if you think of it as dropping the e and then adding the ed because the ending is called as ed. So we technically drop the e that belongs to the base word. Smiling, my friend is usually happy and is often smiling. Again, ing starts with a vowel. So we're going to drop the e, add ing. Located, the movie theater is located near the bookstore. Locate is ending with E. We're going to drop the E and add ED because the ED starts with the vowel. Provided, the teacher provided us with art paper. Provided ends in E. It's consonant E. And we're going to drop that E and change it with and replace it with ED. And escaping, they don't want the lizard escaping from its cage. Escape ends in silent E. We're going to drop the E and add ING. And see here, ING starts with the letter I. It starts with a vowel. So we're going to drop that E. Dividing. We were dividing the crackers between us. We had the word divide, which ended in an E. We dropped the E and added the ING. ING starts with a vowel. So ing there. Together. They walked home together. You can see the divisions of together. To gev er. And we have the er spelled E-R at the end of together. So three syllable word. Certain, she is certain that she returned the book. Certain is a tough one to remember in part because we have the er, sir, C-E-R for the first syllable. And then we have T-A-N-E, which turns into a schwa. A-I turns into a schwa, certain. It's just got kind of this uh, schwa sound at the end. But it is spelled A-I. Modern computers are a modern way of writing. The thing that people get mixed up on with modern is we hear the er sound here, but a little bit unusually, it's followed by the letter N, modern. Mod, short O sound, whoops, short O, and then E-R-N at the end. Okay, and then the third part of this week's words, history, again, a three-letter word, his to -ri. We studied the history of our town. Never. Never, I never go bike riding without wearing a helmet. Side, the dolphin swim along the side of the boat. Become, ducklings quickly become larger. B, long E sound here, and then come, you know how to spell the word come. Come on over to my house, that kind of spelling, right? Believe, I believe the concert begins at 7 p.m. I before E, except after C. So in believe, the, e, the IE is the, doing the long E sound. Remember what this E is doing. It is keeping the V from having to be the last letter in the word, which it cannot be in the English language. So we put an E after the V for uh, to protect that V. Okay, little suffix review. Let's see if I'm probably covering myself again. Making, oops, make, we dropped our E because ING starts with a vowel bravely now check this out bravely the ending starts with a consonant so we do not drop the e for from brave we just add the ly serving again we have the word serve we drop that e and then we add ing and you can see that ing starts with the vowel so it starts with the vowel we drop it the ending starts with the vowel, we drop the E. If the ending starts with a consonant, we don't drop the E. Completely, here's another example. Complete is our base word, and you can see that we don't drop the E because L-Y starts with a consonant. Proving, we have prove, but we started our suffix or our ending with an I-N-G with a vowel, so we're going to drop the E and then add I-N-G. Homeless, here's our base word home. Our ending or suffix starts with an L, which is a consonant, so we don't drop the E, we just add L-E-S-S. -S. Good. Okay, here are our review words for the, for the week. Fight, here we have the I-G-H sound, I, long I sound, and then T at the end. Size, we have long I, consonant E. Ice, again, vowel, consonant E, long vowel, consonant E. D side, here is where we break that syllable and then we have the long i consonant e all right remembering this is two words all with the double l when it's just by itself and then right we have the i g h t there as well clear we have the long e sound spelled e a strike we have long i consonant e further we have the fur -er spelled u r and then the 
the ending er sound spelled er. Science, here is our first syllable, S-C-I, long I, because it is an open consonant, open, open syllable, having a long I. And then the N-C-N-C-E -E is that fabulous ending that we're going to see in a, a lot of um, places when we get into higher level words. Among, we have uh, this schwa sound at the beginning, spelled with an A, like about, among, um, amidst and then ma ong ong like ing but with an o and that is that here are your memory steps remember read the word say the syllables to help you spell really break down the syllables it will help a lot underline any hard parts for yourself cover the word say and write the word by syllables and of course check okay keep an eye out for that uh, activity midweek and then i will see you again for your test on friday don't forget to write down your 15 new words and go ahead and put them in the template attached and turn them in on Seesaw. Take care. Thanks for working hard.